as Ventas, the healthcare real estate investment trust run by Deb Cafaro, gotten its group back since the last time we spoke to her. Here's a company that owns roughly 1,200 senior housing facilities, medical office buildings, hospitals, and research labs, something to talk about across North America. Problem is, Ventas has been kind of a roller coaster in the last couple of years. The stock managed to rally 9% for 2017. It's still pretty much flat over the last 12 months. Investors have had some concerns about the outlook for senior living facilities. Even though long term, you expect it's got to be a great business, right? Huge number of baby boomers starting to get pretty old. Plus, while the Republican effort to repeal and replace Obamacare is currently on ice, any more attempts to get rid of the Affordable Care Act would make this stock perhaps less attractive. And when Ventos reported its latest quarter at the end of July, some people thought the results were mixed. Still, the company pays you a solid 4.5% yield. Stock has begun to rebound in recent months, and I think it's got superb management. So let's check in with Deborah Cafaro, the chairman and CEO of Ventos, to hear more about how the company's doing, where it's headed. Ms. Cafaro, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to see you, Deb. Thank Good you. Good to be here. Thanks. Thank you. Have a seat. Now, I have to tell you, I started it like that because the fact is that you never lost your groove. That when you came on, your stock and your company had been getting some bad publicity, which you came here and said was untrue. And it was. And that was an unbelievable moment to buy. Which you said. Well, but you came here. I needed to hear from you. That's what's so great. You came. You know how many executives run from that situation? I mean, from people taking shots at you? So it worked. It did. Now I want to talk about this new growth area, this yes. life science area, because it makes a ton of sense to me, but it also got some risks. Go ahead. Describe yes. it to our viewers. Well, this is a fabulous new part of our business. We've invested or committed about $2 billion in capital so far. And it's a university-based life science business. So incredibly needed business because, as we know, there are so many Americans with chronic illness, right. so much research to be done. And universities, even highly rated ones, and most of our customers are A-rated or better, want to leverage their capital because they're capital constrained. And so we can develop and own these buildings for them. The universities are the engines of economic development in these sub-markets. They're magnets for private capital who want an employed workforce. And so we bought a great portfolio. It's at Yale, at Duke, at Brown, at Wash U, at Philadelphia. UPenn Medicine. Thank you. Exactly. I was saving the best oh, okay. for last. And we are developing these hubs of research and innovation with and for these universities to help them grow by using our capital. Okay, so how do you know you have the right credit? How do we presume necessarily that a university is going to be able to pay? Yes. Well, it's a pretty simple analysis. If you look at the investment that we made, which is now 6% of our business should be growing toward the 10% right. range over time, uh, they're, they're A-rated. 75% um, of the rents come from either A-rated company, A-rated universities, mm -hmm. or companies with market caps over a billion. So I feel pretty good about the credit quality and think it's a, a really good risk-adjusted return for us. Okay, so this morning in the business day, a soured bet on health care. A guy, Larry Robbins, I actually heard oh, him make this statement yes. to, uh, from Glenview Capital. He was making a killing, doing fabulous in these, and then suddenly yes. it turned against him. Yes. He's a very good investor. How right. are you able to measure things better than he did yes. in order to be able to not have some clunkers. Yes. Well, Glenview are great investors. And mm -hmm. um, I would say this. We believe in a diversified portfolio, right. okay? We have You've five, named no big bets. And like we've that. always believed in financial strength and flexibility, and we've believed in a diversified portfolio. Because while we are, we believe we're great capital allocators on the buy and the sell mm -hmm. side, we are humble about what can happen because there are unknowns out there in investing, as you know. So we believe in a diversified portfolio. We have aligned with some healthcare providers, but our business is still 94% private pay. Okay, now, uh, there is a sense uh, that there's been some deceleration, in, particularly in senior housing. Now, explain this to me. Yes. The demographics are unbelievable. Was there yes. a bit, and you mentioned it could happen, of overbuilding? Because I have to believe this corrects itself so that you're getting an opportunity by Ventus lower than it might yes. be after it's corrected itself. Well, let me give you some facts. Okay. So it is, what is happening is in some markets, there is a timing mismatch. That is, there is an excess of development occurring with respect to the immediate demand. Okay. But we all know that this wave of demographic demand from the over 75s is coming. 
and it would overwhelm really all the vacant units in the U.S. But there is a timing mismatch in some markets. Okay. We talked about that last time. Yes, you were but very upfront about here's it. Here's what's really important. If you look two years ago, there were double the starts in senior housing in the second quarter of 15 as there were in the second quarter of 17. So oh, what so we are seeing is demand is inexorably increasing, absorption is, is very strong, the penetration rate, i.e. how many seniors use senior housing, is increasing, and starts are ticking down compared to the peak in the second quarter of 2015. Now there still will be that mismatch, we're still right. seeing these deliveries come on, but it's a normal cycle that will get absorbed through this incredible demand over time. Okay, with the little time we have left, just tell me about what happened with your places in Hurricane Irma. Oh, thank you for asking. Sure. This is where um, uh, being the CEO of Ventas is an incredible honor. We do business with the best care providers in the United States, some of them Atria Senior Living, sure. evacuated yeah. um, almost 10 communities with very frail senior uh, people who have incredible needs. Mm -hmm. Everyone is safe. The staff went with them. Some of the staff haven't slept for days taking care of the seniors. And so far, everyone has been safe. The same with our partners at Kindred Healthcare. Evacu they went through Katrina. Mm -hmm. They're very prepared. And that's why we place such a high premium on who we are doing business with, who these care right. providers are. And I would say to people with parents who live alone, Senior living is really a better way to keep your parents safe. Oh, I absolutely know the truth about that. Well, thank you so much, Deborah Cafaro, thank Chairman you. CEO of Ventas. Every time she's come on, it's been a great buying opportunity. Mad Money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.